Basketball is such a meaningful hobby to me because it has helped me take my mind off of things and help me interact with new people and make new friends. Basketball helped me stay active and stay in shape by conditioning, scrimmaging, and playing fun basketball games. My favorite part of being captain on the basketball team is being able to help my teammates. The forces involved in this activity is gravitational force, which is a force that attracts any two objects with the mass, air resistance force, which is a force that that air exerts an object moving through it, and applied force, which is a force that is applied to an object by a person or another object. The net force is the applied force, which is added with the gravitational and air resistance force. Therefore, the applied force outpowers the other forces. At the beginning of the applied force, the x-axis and the y-axis are even. Then once it gets higher, the y-axis gets higher, and the x-axis stays about the same. Once it gets closer to the maximum height, the y-axis gets smaller and the x-axis gets smaller as well. Once it reaches the maximum height, the y-axis aims down and the x-axis gets longer than the y-axis. Once it starts going down, the x-axis continues to go down and gets longer and the y-axis stays about the same. Lastly, the ball gets to the rim and both the x and y-axis get smaller. The horizontal x-axis velocity starts to increase or get bigger a little over halfway through shooting for the basket. It then starts decreasing or getting smaller as it gets closer and as it goes in. The vertical y-axis velocity starts increasing um, a little before it's halfway through going for the hoop, but then it starts decreasing the closer it gets to going in. The horizontal x-axis position is at, is that it goes in one direction, which is towards the basket, and right before it goes through the basket, it bounces in a circular motion. The vertical y-axis position goes up to its highest point and eventually goes into the basket. Hi, this is Home Group 4. This is our physics and lifting, lifting project. The forces involved in this activity are applied and gravitational force. Applied force is a force that is applied to another object. Gravitational force is force of attraction on a body on Earth. During this process, the applied force tries to go up, but the gravitational force brings it down. With this being said, these are forces taken into effect because a force is defined as a push or pull, which is demonstrated in the video as when lifting down and gravitational force is doing a pull and then the applied force when going up is a push going up. A net force is the vector sum of all the forces that act up, act upon an object. In this project, the net force changes as the force changes. When pushing up, the net force goes up and while it's going down, the net force goes down, which can be shown in the video as when I lift up and when I lift down. There is no movement in the x-axis, only in the y-axis, since there is no movement going horizontal left or right, but only up and down. At this point, one second, it went down, but at two seconds, it went up again. When lifted, with, the, with this being mentioned, it brings up the velocity of me lifting. Velocity is the speed of something in a given direction. The velocity of me lifting is one second, with going down as the video shows the arrows going down. And then when lifting up, in two seconds, the arrows should be pointing up, but due to an error in the software, software the arrows is pointing up. Thanks for listening and have a good day. Hello, this is our physics video project, which includes Gloria, Caitlin, Tracy, and Leslie. In this video, we proceed to use a ball to determine the transition of motion, which is when all points of the body are moving uniformly in the same direction, and rotational motion, which is the motion where the rigid body particles move in circles about an axis with a common velocity. The forces that were involved in this video were physical contact, gravitational force, which is the attraction of the Earth's mass for bodies near its surface. From using these forces, it resulted in the ball moving that then stayed in motion for it to act by an, by an external motion. 
Caitlin was in constant motion trying to keep the momentum going. But in this video, it conveyed that the weight in the ball accelerated upwards when being kicked up in the air by Caitlin. The reason why we enjoyed this activity was because it demonstrated the physical act of motions onto the ball. Another reason was because we got to collaborate with each other and share ideas, which was really fun. The forces that were shown, shown in this activity were gravitational force and physical contact. Net force is the sum of all forces that act on the object. The net force, which is the sum of all, the sum of all forces being added up to the object, which influences the ball as all forces combine in one, and it goes in one direction to gravity and its weight pulls it down. The way the net force influences vertical acceleration is when the ball being kicked up in the air and it decreases, but when it meets at the middle, it increases negatively then positions itself into a vertical velocity which is affected in a way where the position is always changing with it with its acceleration which is also known as a change in velocity